Hey guys, welcome to Your Best Interviews. My name is Eric Smith. Thanks so much for spending the time with me. I know there's a lot of places you can go, and so I do appreciate you spending the time here with me. If this is helpful, please share with others my goals to help as many people as possible during this time. Uh, today, what I want to talk about is the follow-up after the interview. So <clears throat> again, a lot of schools of thought around this. There's a lot of people that have a lot of opinions around this. I'm giving you my opinion um, that I feel like is best based on you know, my own experience as someone who has interviewed a lot of people, someone who's worked with a lot of HR professionals, and just somebody who understands, um, you know, how communication uh, is received and, and how that's looked upon. So my recommendation, I think everyone's recommendation should be follow up right away, right? So for me, if I get out of an interview later that day, I'm going to send a follow up email to thank them for their time. Uh, I'm going to pick out pieces of the interview that really stood out or set me apart, or maybe I connected with the, the hiring manager on. Um, make notes of these as you're going through your interview so that you can reference it in your follow-up. Um, but I like to do it same day. I like to do it while it's fresh um, because if you wait a week or you wait a couple days, um, you know you become you get lost in the shuffle of who they met with. Uh, and so do it right away. Do it while it's fresh. It's quick recall, and it just shows that you're on top of the follow-up game, which is really important in most professional settings. Um, the other side of this is a lot of people will say, I'm going to write a handwritten thank you to follow up. You can. Um, again, I don't think this is going to hurt you, but I would absolutely advise you to follow up by email. And then if you want to still send a handwritten card, you can. Uh, but I think email is best. It's 2021. Um, and truthfully, handwritten cards don't typically get opened. Um, there's, I guess there's two schools of thought. Right now with COVID, most people aren't in the office. They're working from home. So they don't want to give you their home address. So it might be really hard to actually get physical mail to them. So if you're not sending an email and you're just writing a card, it might get sent to the office and that hiring manager might not get it. Um, so it seems like you didn't follow up. The other side is even if people are back in the offices and working again, um, you know, COVID free environment, you send a follow up card. Most of the time, those cards don't get viewed right away um, or they get them. People don't open them because they know it's a thank you card or a follow up card. Um, you know, they're right or wrong. Uh, that's just what happens. I've talked to a lot of hiring managers that have a stack of thank you cards that they've never opened um, or follow up cards. So. The, the letter thing, the following up with a letter, you can certainly do that. It won't hurt you um, unless, you know, that's the only follow-up form that you have and they don't open it. That could hurt you. Um, but my recommendation would be same day. As soon as you finish that afternoon, send a follow-up email every single person that you've met with. So um, obviously the hiring manager, the main person that you're meeting with, the recruiter, whoever that was. But if you meet with three other people, Find out what their email address is or find out you know, what their full name is. Mimic the, the company email address so that you can include them. Um, but send a follow-up to each person that you met with. Thank them for, for taking the time. Um, again, mention something that, that sticks out about you or sticks out about your time together in the interview uh, in that follow-up so that they can connect you as you know, a positive person who, who interviewed well um, and, and has that recall. And then the last piece is just end on a really positive note. Let them know that you're eager, you're excited to make impact, um, and if they have any questions, they can follow up with you. Uh, but that's my recommendations on the follow-up is do it right away. My top recommendation is do it by email. Uh, if you want to send a letter, you absolutely can, but certainly send the email. That is the best way to follow up after an interview. And then make notes throughout the interview so that you can reference it in your follow-up. It just helps you, again, further stand out from the, from the crowd. So good luck.